Hello and welcome to Head and Shoulders, where we cover athletes, performances, and otherwise that are head and shoulders above the rest. And you see the Tokyo version of the logo insignia for Head and Shoulders. We got that for the time because we're leading up to Tokyo. With that being said, you've seen the title today. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, share, share. We're looking for 10,000 subscribers by the middle of November into October. And I think we can get that. But we are talking today about Johan Blake, or as the some of the British announcers like to say, Johan Blake, Johan Blake. We're going to go over the men's 100 and what he can do, the men's 200 and what he can do. This isn't going to be a very long video. Uh, definitely here. And like I said, I like to put faces and names. I've been informed and I've talked to enough people to know that people don't know about Usain Bolt. They're already forgetting about Usain Bolt. Isn't this astounding? The greatest sprinter of all time. He only just retired a few years ago, but I guess four years is enough time to, for people to forget. This is how this athlete's life cycle goes. But here's Us uh, Johan Blake, second uh, fastest sprinter of all time, right behind Usain Bolt, tied with Tyson Gay in the 100. So here we go. With this being said, Let's look down this list on the rankings list. Now, on, on one hand, it looks like it's really stacked against Johan Blake right here as he's tied for 11th with several athletes. But then on the other hand, when you realize that Bracey isn't there, Isaiah Young, Benerick, Micah Williams, and Martin, Lyles, those athletes aren't there. You're taking out, let's see, one two, three, four, five, and six athletes that are in front of him uh, with that. So this leaves him that he can make the finals. And what he said, this is what I like to, uh, to see with athletes. I don't like that weakness of, oh, it's okay that I lose. You, you all know who I'm talking about with these people that are saying, oh, it's okay that I lose prelim semifinals or, or uh, I lose a race here and there. No, you know what I like to see? I like the 90s, early 2000s, and some of the 80s. You know, these athletes out there, the Maurice Greens, the Michael Johnsons, the Otto Boltons, man, these guys were coming, and they were trying to destroy the other athletes. They wanted to win. Johan Blake still got that. He's a little bit humbled now because his career didn't turn out the way he would have liked it. But, hey, he's a world champion. Yeah, uh, Usain Bolt, false started. Okay, cool, but he's a world champion. He was the next best person that was there. He's a world champion. He's finished behind. Uh, Usain Bolt, right? He's been on a world record breaking four by one silver medals behind uh, Usain Bolt. Unfortunately, he got a fourth in uh, Rio, as we can see at the Olympics. But let's not doubt him. Let's not doubt this man right here. And unfortunately, he did worse in Doha. Once again, let's not doubt the man. The thing that I like about Johan Blake is that he said he is come he is here to come away with a medal. Now, him saying he's going to come away with a win, that might be a little bit too boastful for him right now because he just has not been performing the way he would have liked to perform. But can he come away with a medal? Yes. He's got a better chance in the 100 than the 200. He can come away with a medal. How? Let's break this down right now. Now, Yes, he's running 995, and that result might have been a little bit questionable about whether in this American track league, whether he false started or not. Okay, let's go with his 998 right here. But we could go with the 995. I'm going to give him that. You know why? Because I can see him actually being able to, to run a 995. What is he going to take? Let's cut to the chase here. What is it going to take for tied second man, fastest man in history? right? The top three for him to actually get a medal here. I think he's going to have to run a nine, eight, five, nine, eight, seven at the worst, but I'm thinking it's going to be a nine, eight, five is going to be good enough for a medal. Even with this field here, uh, Simbine, can he reproduce that again? Yeah, that was his uh, PR, but can he go through the rounds and do that? That's going to be the question. Because remember, one-off races, you should be able to run faster. 
You don't have the fatigue in your legs of rounds, right? Okay, can he do that again? Mm, that's a question mark. Let's see where his progression was. Let's break this down. So previously before this, his PR was 991. This is the first, oh, I'm sorry. It looks like 989. Let's look at this again, 989. So this was back in Rio. So he's rounding himself self back in the form, a new PR with the next Olympics. That's good. Now, will he be able, you notice that he did this in Hungary. But when it came to uh, Rio, he finished behind Blake. You see this? He's fifth. He finished behind Blake. Is this his chance to finish in front of him? I don't think so. I really don't think so. When it comes to Blake's mindset, he has the champion mindset. Now, can he get in front of Curly? Curly is the weakest link of the Americans. I don't know. I don't think I'm confident that the Americans clean sweep in the 100. They can. They have the possibility. I'm not going to doubt that. But I don't think Fred Curly uh, has that ability. Coming down from the 400, I don't yet trust him with – being a complete dominance in here. Look, he's got fifth in Gateshead. He got sixth in Monaco, right? Forget the uh, trials, the third or whatever, and everything like that. He even got second. Oh, wait a minute. That was the final. Yes, he got second back there in Florida, in Miami. Now, that's why I see Fred Curley. He's not a consistent performer. The only reason that Trayvon Bromel lost in this last uh, race that he did, he slipped out of the blocks. He slipped out of the blocks, winded up getting fifth, unfortunately. But here he comes back in Gateshead first. No matter the times, this guy is getting one, 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 one. He slipped out the blocks. They caught him slipping, quite literally. Now, when it comes to Ronnie Baker, I think that he has a chance. He, he's been consistent. Look at Let's look at his results here, too. He's been consistent uh, with his wins this year. I think he's a solid second-place athlete. He's a solid number two. So number one and two are kind of sewn up. If Romel doesn't get jitters, if he doesn't slip out of the blocks again, there. I think it's going to take a lot to beat the South African athletes. Not going to lie. It's going to take a lot to beat Jacobs, Yamagata, home field advantage. Notice the host nations usually have athletes that are performing in events that they normally might not perform in. This is a good sign for uh, Japan's 4 by 100 meter relay that they got one athlete here. They typically overperform in the 4 by one because their exchanges are on point. China and Japan, they quietly get medals. They quietly just come out and do their job. Now, I think Blake has it in the 200. Let's see. So I think, like I said, I think he has to run a 9.85. You guys come back to this video. If I'm wrong, hey. But that's what he has to run. Now, I think that's where the bronze medal is. 9.85. That's what I'm saying. You got to run 9.85, potentially 9.87. Now, if he doesn't run those times, right, and that's where the bronze medal is, somewhere around there, or slower, that you can come back here still saying I'm right because he has to run the 985, slowest 987, but 985 to be safe. And I think he has a ca the capability within him. Let's look at the 200. Uh, with the 200, he ain't got a hope and a prayer. I mean, he's got slim to none. I think he should just drop out of the 200, to be honest. But as a competitor, he's going to go for it. I, as, as a competitor myself, if I was entered in both, I think I will go for both of them. I will only drop the 200 uh, if I could let go of my pride as somebody that wants to win in both. And I can say, I'm going to be a champion as best I can in one event. But I, man, his, his options are slim to none and slim just died. Like literally a bad, horrible funeral. I don't think that Johan Blake has it in the 200, but definitely he has a chance in the 100 to score a medal. So let's just get out of here. It's too many people ahead of him. I did a review on that other one, but Johan Blake, let's not uh, disrespect him, put some respect on his name. He can come out here and medal. He can overperform and surprise. 
Uh, what he has to do is get over Yamagata. I think he's beatable. He got to get over Jacobs from Italy. I think that's fair and he's beatable. He got to get over Gift of South Africa. I think he's beatable. See, Fred Curley is the weakest of the Americans, and I don't know about his consistency rate. I just showed you and broke that down. He's definitely beatable. He's going to be the one, if they don't get a clean sweep, he's going to be the reason. Baker, who knows? Somebody else might overperform and take over Baker, but I, I doubt it. Trayvon Bromel, undisputed overall favorite. Simbine, if he does anything, that's going to be the reason why Johan Blake, in my opinion, doesn't get it. I think Johan Blake gets fifth at worst, most likely third to fourth. That's why I see him at, but this is going to be the only event that I think he can individually score at. Now, if it comes to the relay, hmm, if you can put Team Jamaica together and they can actually put some uh, a squad together, which is gonna is kind of hard pressed, I think Team GB might surprise because they don't have to have people there. Uh, Japan, like I said, they overperform. So they're going to have to really get it together. On paper, Jamaica should actually have a squad that's ahead of other nations. But in actuality, what's going to happen? It's going to depend on the exchanges. What do you guys think? Do you guys agree, disagree? Let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to share, 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 like, and subscribe.